Hey guys, my name's Nobody, and I'm here to bring you the next in my apparently Sonic based Let's Play series. We're gonna do Sonic Generations! Oh boy. So, um, yeah. For those of you who might have been one of the four people who originally subscribed to my channel, might actually remember this was one of the first videos I ever put up on my channel. Um, it was a Sonic Generations Let's Play. But I lost all the footage after beating Chemical Plant Zone because Plays TV likes to screw up all my source footage. And I was too lazy to re-record everything, so in a fit of rage and anger, I decided, you know what? Screw this. Doesn't matter. No one's watching my channel anyway. I'm just going to come back to it when I feel like it. Well, I came back to it when I felt like it after getting four different series under my belt that no one watches. So, yeah. I'm important, and I'm doing well, too. I've got 11 subscribers now, and if you're watching this, cool. If you're not, why aren't you? Am I not cool enough for you? Do I not smoke enough Gatorade and drink enough cocaine for you people? I don't know. Uh, what is it that the kids like these days? Uh, do they like the Miley Cyruses still? Is that, is that a thing? Sheesh. I don't even think that's been a, I, I don't think that's been a thing for years since I was in high school. I don't know what's popular nowadays. Is Justin Bieber still a thing? God, why am I talking about Justin Bieber in a Sonic Let's Play? Ugh. But yeah, so I originally tried to do this and it screwed up because the footage got screwed up on me and I didn't want to have to replay the whole game again to get all the footage because autosaving is a bitch when you're trying to record things, but hey, cutscene, and I'm just going to let this play out. Granted, there's really nothing, like, vocal that goes on, so I could still talk, and it's not really going to mess anything up. Might even prevent me from getting copyright strike. You know what? I'm just going to keep talking. It's just a cutscene. It doesn't matter. Of course, that is the big bad, but... Wasn't really much of an entrance. Okay, now I'm gonna stop talking. He'll be here any second. Hey guys, what's going on? You having a party or something? Surprise! Ah, you guys. It's kind of impossible to surprise you. You totally got me this time. I had no idea. Yeah, right. Happy birthday, Sonic. Hope you like this. Like it? I love it! Alright, so the main cutscene's over, so I can start talking now, and I have a bone to pick with this. Okay, so, uh, spoilers, kind of, not really. If you know anything about this game, you know that, and you haven't played it yet, which, I mean, the game's been out for like six years. If you're a uh, Sonic fan and you haven't played this, am I? well, you might want to rectify that. But, what I was going to say was, so... Um, if you noticed on the back of that, uh, time, the whole thing is you're traveling through time because different Sonic zones, time and past, classic Sonic, future Sonic, it's not really a spoiler, but, you know, that's the concept behind the game. Anyway, so the whole concept of time travel in and of itself kind of bugs me for a few different reasons, which I'll get into probably at some point throughout this Let's Play, but I'm only going to focus on one right now, and that is... Not a lot of times when we con or when we conceptualize time travel in fantasy or in 
mostly in fantasy or I guess cartoons, you know, in general. We always tend to relate it to the clock or clockworks or gears or mechanisms of some sort. Usually the inner workings of a clock and I'm gonna go with uh, you happen to be familiar with Danny Phantom I'm gonna use uh, clockwork as an example for this but his whole castle is uh, made out of gears and it's like one giant it's like the inside of a giant watch or a clock with the whole mechanisms and the uh, ticking and whatnot but that's all a human concept of time so if you looked at the, if, if you notice a lot of the big things about this game is, besides being distorted portals, is that uh, the main creature has a giant gear on his back, and uh, the clock, for example. The clock doesn't exist in terms of, you know, how you would perceive time as like a dimension. The clock is not relevant to that. In fact, you need. Neither of these mechanisms are gears, it's just a way to show the passage of time relative to humanity, but it always kind of bothered me that these entities that supposedly exist outside of humankind, or might not even touch humankind at all, somehow still are related to clocks and gear works. I mean, it's not exactly a far stretch to assume that, you know, cogs and machinery would stretch out beyond humanity if humanity was not the only civilization and in this case you know hedgehog moby and kind but it just bothers me you don't if you're going to try to illustrate a concept of time outside of human mechanics do not attach human mechanics to it thanks sonic i thought i was dead Floating without a body in a black limbo. Ugh, I'm gonna have nightmares for weeks. That's not death tales. That's being piss face drunk at a Super Bowl party. Is it me? Or is that place we were just in awfully familiar? Mm, not to me. But this place looks like something sucked all the life and color out of it. Totally strange. No stranger than rescuing genies in magic books or saving aliens in an interstellar amusement park. I'm more concerned about finding our friends. Hey, Sonic, I saw something over there in the distance. Like buildings, but they look weird. That might be a good place to check out. I'll be back soon. Wow, you weren't kidding when you said soon. I thought you already left. Right, so Super Genius Tales, we can confirm, does not know what a chemical plant would look like, does not understand what tanks look like, and, you know, silos and buildings that contain liquid, and does not recognize that Sonic looks incredibly different younger as compared to his older form. But, I digress. This is the skill shop, which is one of the things that, uh, you're going to visit once in this game and then never go back to again and you're going to pick up the three items four items that I just got right now you're going to make Sonic faster you're going to make it so when he lands on his feet he doesn't stall you're going to give him the ability to blast off and you're going to give him the ability to accelerate up uh, hills faster you're essentially going to make Sonic just faster and able to react faster also that power break ability uh, gives you the ability to kill Sonic's momentum basically whenever, just let go of the control stick, like in uh, Sonic 4. I do not like that, I will not play with that, I will never play with that. Also, some of these abilities are multifaceted, which means you can equip them to uh, classic and modern Sonic. But I'll explain more about that in the next level when we attack Chemical Plant Zone. Until then guys, I'll see you next time. Nobody out.